Starting with a trio of television movies in 1973, The Six Million Dollar Man ran for five seasons on ABC and told the story of former astronaut Steve Austin, played by Lee Majors. Austin has superhuman strength due to bionic implants and is employed as a secret agent by a fictional U.S. government office called OSI. It took six million dollars to make Steve Austin the perfect bionic weapon. Now you can't stop him for any price. Lee Majors is the six million dollar man. For action, comedy, and adventure, welcome back. The series was based on the book Cyborg by Martin Caden, who was both a writer and a pilot himself. The story goes that Caden witnessed a crash that nearly killed test pilot Bruce Peterson, and with that incident in mind, he wrote the novel Cyborg, which was the working title for the series as well during pre-production. Getting back to the test pilot in that crash that Martin Caden witnessed, while Bruce Peterson did survive that pretty darn horrible accident, it didn't come without a cost. It would take months of recovery and physical therapy for him to be able to get up on his own two feet again, and sadly due to a staph infection while in recovery, much like TV's Six Million Dollar Man, he would lose an eye. Of course, I knew that the show was going to be a big hit. As if the cover of TV Guide wasn't enough, the clincher was Dynamite Magazine. Yep, there he is, right there on the cover, Steve Austin in all his glory. That's how I could tell the really big hits. The one-two punch of Dynamite Magazine preceded by TV Guide. Man, I love Dynamite. I think the only way you could get it was by ordering it through those little scholastic book order forms in school. Really great stuff. I wish it were still around. An even more certain way to know a television show is a hit is to look at the amount of merchandising available. And the Six Million Dollar Man? Well, he was second to none. Six Million Dollar Man, ready to operate and command. Colonel Steve Austin is the Six Million Dollar Man, complete with the technology to replace his bionic modules. Check him out with the bionic transport and repair station. Control his amazing lifting strength. See through his wide-angle bionic eye. The man, his bionic transport that becomes a repair station and a working backpack radio. That's the Six Million Dollar Man? No, it's Maskatron, the robot. Here's Steve Austin. At last we meet. Look out, Steve. Maskatron will conquer you. Take that, Maskatron, and that. Ow! And that. Ah! Steve will beat him every time. No, he won't. Maskatron will be back in another disguise. Maskatron, new from Kenner. Six Million Dollar Man sold separately. It's probably worth mentioning that my favorite, all-time favorite Six Million Dollar Man episodes were the ones with Bigfoot in it. Here's the TV guide listing for that very first episode. I remember seeing this print ad and just freaking out. Steve led to Death Trap by Giant Man Beast. And then as you peruse the smaller print, it says exactly what I'd hoped it would say. Face to face with Bigfoot. TV guides usually came out a week in advance of the listings. The time between reading that ad, which I did over and over, and actually watching the show, well, it seemed like an eternity. I've done another full video where I talk at length about Steve partnering with Bigfoot. But you know what? The cool thing is, Bigfoot kind of became a superhero himself. He even had his own action figure. I didn't get that one, but I did have one of those Steve Austin dolls. They were pretty cool, right? Okay, maybe they weren't so cool after all. Still, as the ad says, they were the number one toy in America and a big hit for Kenner, which of course would have even greater toy success a couple of years later with their Star Wars toys. Later on during the series run, we would get the Soviet creation, the Death Probe. And who can forget the Fembots? They created all sorts of problems for Steve, as well as his bionic bestie, Jamie Summers. This is Lindsay Wagner. Here are some scenes from the next episode of The Bionic Woman. Robots, I call them fembots. These mannequins aren't going to fool anybody. Good morning, Mr. Goldman. Good morning, Miss Callahan. Kidnap Oscar Goldman. I order all action units to kill me as soon as possible. Goodbye. Jamie, turn the magnetic car! Capture. Increase power on the fembots. You watch for us, Summers. All right, now it's your turn. Leave your memories in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.